I love this guitar. Hi, my name is John. You can call me Smelly Telly. And today is kind of a great day for me. This morning in an email, Larry said, pick whatever you want in the shop that makes you excited, something that you're really into. And I knew instantly what I wanted to do because I've been wanting to do a video on this guitar for many, many months. So this is my favorite guitar in the shop. If they said you could pick any guitar and go home with it, this would be the one. Um, there are guitars that are probably worth more than this one. There are definitely a lot of guitars that aren't worth as much as this one. But this is the one. This, I have bonded with it. And I wish I could have it, but I can't because I already have too many. So what is it? Let's talk about what it is. So obviously it's a Tele, but it's a special one. This is a Fender Custom Shop Relic 1961 NAM Limited Edition, Limited Run. I think the number is like 161, something like that. Um, all of that stuff, whatever, you know, it doesn't really mean anything if the guitar is not worth playing. Um, it is phenomenal. Um, in fact, it really, it's really phenomenal. This is um, one of those guitars that I'm going to remember even like 10 years from now um, when it belongs to somebody else. Let's talk a little bit about it. Um, I want to talk about some of the things that I absolutely love about it. And we'll kind of get into a little bit of the specs as well. So right off the bat, what do I love about this guitar? And I'll be kind of upfront about a lot of the Fender Relics in general. And that's this right here, the neck. The neck on these feel phenomenal. So you could say they're, they have the unfinished feel. There is finish there, it's just really thin, but it's so worn in, it just feels fantastic. And like you can, up here, they kind of left the finish a little bit more like how it would have been new, so you can feel, feel the difference. I think that's there just to remind you of how great the rest of it is. I'm almost positive that's why they do it like that. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I can't possibly be wrong. They just feel awesome. The necks on these, um, I do have, uh, I have a relic, and that was the first thing that grabbed me as well was the way the neck felt. So, you know, with relics, some people don't like the aesthetic of it. I personally do like it, but it's not the most important part of it. I like the way they look, but more importantly, I like the way they play, how they feel, how they sound. Uh, and this one is exceptional. So you can see, and there'll be some pictures for you to check out too. You can see, you know, where they've done the relicking. Um, I love the binding. So this would be more kind of like how um, a Tele uh, Custom would be, where they did the binding on the guitar. I don't have a Tele that has binding. So that is one thing that I need to probably think about in the future, because I think it's really cool. Um, spec wise, it's a Tele. Um, they, they're not really, they didn't really break the mold on this too much. There are a couple of, I guess, modern, somewhat modern features on it. Uh, most notably would be the, uh, the radius of the fretboard, which is nine and a half um, instead of, you know, 7.25, which is what they were back in those days. Um, some people, they like the nine point or nine and a half a little bit better. They feel like maybe the strings are a little bit easier to bend. I think there may be a little bit to that. Um, and the reason, that's probably the reason why they went with nine and a half instead of 7.25, just because they knew that that would make this guitar a little bit more playable and, and make it a little bit more accessible to other people that maybe don't like the feel of the vintage radius. Um, for me, it's more about the fret size, and these have the tall narrows, which it's my favorite fret size on any make or model of guitar, I think they feel just perfect. There's enough height there that you can still get under the strings pretty well. And of course, you know, it's Fender Custom Shop, so the fretwork is immaculate. There's, you're not gonna find <laughs> anything wrong with any of these frets anywhere. So uh, the other kind of modern-ish thing they did with it is with the pickups and some of the wiring, uh, the pickups are hand-wound Texas Specials. I honestly didn't even know that there was such a thing as like a custom shop hand wound Texas special. They sound great. We're going to go through some sounds in a little bit. And then they, in the wiring, they have their grease bucket wiring. So it's kind of like a treble bleed. Um, as you pull back on your volume, uh, the highs kind of cut back, but the mids stay there. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you notice that it's not getting woolly or woofy or kind of muted sounded as you bring the volume down, which that's pretty good mod to have anyways. I have it on my, um, on my 51 Nocaster. I have a treble bleed, which is similar. Uh, and then other than that, I mean, it's straight up a vintage style telly. Um, and if you like vintage style tellies like I do, it's a doozy. So um, again, there's, you know, spec wise, you can read everything about it. There's nothing to, there's really nothing out of the ordinary at all. The finish is silver sparkle. That's going to be, you know, a personal choice. I think it looks fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of the Buck Owens uh, red, white, and blue sparkle telly. And I'm a pretty big Buck Owens fan, as you might guess. Uh, and that's really, I mean, all of the specs that you need to know about this guitar, vintage style tuning, you know, rosewood fretboard, maple neck, all that. Uh, Two-piece body, you know, which is kind of cool. The finish on it is very thin as it's relic, and that's one of the things that I like about the relics as well. I love having that very thin finish. Maybe it's psychosomatic, I don't know, but I really do feel like guitars breathe a little bit more, you know, catchphrases, you know. All right, let's go through some sounds. I did a little bit with the bridge pickup in the intro. It's very telly. <laughs> if that's a thing. It's very telly, very spanky. Let's go to the middle position, which is a place I very rarely go to, but that might be your thing. I could see maybe doing some of those R&B type of stab. Pretty cool. I think I just wrote a song. Let's go to the neck pickup, and you know, you'll hear me say it. For me, tellies are all about the bridge, but we're gonna check out the neck pickup anyways because a lot of people like the sound of the neck pickup. Actually, pretty nice sound to pick up. Actually, it's pretty nice, isn't it? I'm coming up with all kinds of cool stuff today. It's all about the bridge pickup for me. So I could play on this all day, literally. Uh, Larry would be throwing something at me, though, if I did. And what I might do is I might just take this and run as fast as I can and you might not ever see me again because I really do, I love this guitar. And I hope whoever ends up with this, please play it. Don't just hang it on a wall. It's already relic. You're not gonna hurt it at all. In fact, if you put a ding in it, maybe it raises the value of it. I don't know how that works. So it's pretty awesome. If you have any questions about this guitar, of course you can ask in the comments. You can call down here, talk to one of our fantastic sales associates. You can hit us up on moreguitars.com. Uh, my name is John. This is a phenomenal guitar and I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thanks.